Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do kind of like a recap or um, update on how the CPA is going. I wanna talk about like how I'm studying and um, if I'm enjoying Becker and stuff like that. And um, I do plan on doing more videos on like specific things like how to stay motivated for the CPA and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, let me know because that's definitely something that I'm thinking about doing. Um, so I'm about to go study it Saturday and um, usually on Saturday, all day I study. So from like six until like four I study. Um, luckily enough that works because Jason watches Macy at that time. Um, so anyway, let's talk about what's going on. So I just got done with chapter four of FAR. If you guys are new, I'm studying for FAR right now, which is all about the financial um, information. And um, if you have watched, you know that I originally planned on doing two, two chapters a week. And then I switched very soon after to one chapter a week. And that is just because the amount of material that is in FAR is ridiculous. Some weeks it's hard to get through one chapter in a week. And you guys have to think, like I am studying every day. My original plan was to take Sundays off and a lot of times I still study on Sundays just because I wouldn't be able to get everything done if I didn't. Um, usually that's, you know, after church and when Macy's napping, so it's only for a couple hours. But still, it's time that you're taking away from doing what you normally would have done if you weren't studying. So, um, I just got done with chapter four. My plan right now is to, on Saturday, on Sunday, is to review. Go back and look at all the chapters, go through questions, go through my notes, and just do a little refresh. Because I feel like as you go through each chapter, you kind of forget a little piece of what you learned and I just want to make sure that I'm staying up to date. So my original plan was on Sundays to not like study but to kind of look back and do a couple questions on all of the stuff that I've previously learned and that just hasn't happened because like I said I have been non-stop trying to just get every chapter done. So um, I mean in general studying is going well. There are lots of topics that okay like it just clicks and then there's some bonds just for some reason do not click in my head. So whenever they as soon as I see bond in the question I'm just like I have no idea. So there's def definitely areas that I think that I am weak in and that I need to study and I will definitely write a list of those down and make sure at the end that I'm like focusing mostly on those. But um I mean, in general, I think it's going pretty well. Again, it's hard to get through the material. There's a lot of it. Um, my, what I'm doing right now is I am watching the lecture first. Then I will either take notes or if I feel like I need a little bit more information about it, then I'll do like the skills practice, which is basically like another small, tiny little explanation of what's going on. And then like a practice problem or two. Um, so I'll either watch the lecture, do notes, or watch the lecture, do the skills practice, practice then notes, and then I do the um, MQMs. For me, watching all the lectures um, in one chapter at once wouldn't work just because there's just so much and I feel like I need to practice each little section so I can get it. But again, that's just what works for me if that works. If doing that works for you, that's completely fine. I just felt like it would be interesting to know that if I was watching somebody else's video, kind of what their plan was. So I study in the mornings and that's been working pretty well. I am definitely not a morning person anymore. I'm not a night person either, but I'm definitely not a morning person anymore. Um, I try and wake up around five and I start studying at like six. I study from six to eight. I start work at eight and then if there's any time during the day where work is kind of slow, I'll try and get some work done um, with the CPA stuff. So recently, because we're kind of done with first quarter, we haven't started finishing second quarter yet, there's been a lot of downtime. So I've been able to do a lot at work, which is nice, but that won't continue. So it's gonna be interesting because my test is in August and that's when we finish up 
our um, quarter close and all of that for second quarter so it's gonna be tough like in the next I would say in like three weeks it's gonna get real it's gonna get really real <laughs> um, but I mean like I said so far it's going well so far I've gotten through mat the material don't get me wrong guys there are days where I'm like is this worth it seriously is this worth it like why am I waking up so early to do this why am I spending every free second I have on this and that's where I'm gonna kind of get into another video about motivation and everything but if you feel like you want to quit some days you are not alone I feel the same exact way <laughs> it is tough it is really tough and especially with a kid like I I say this to Jason and my sister and a bunch of people all the time but like if I could go back I would have done the CPA before having a kid. Um, I, I am so glad that I have Macy. I think everything happens for a reason, but it is hard. It is so hard because with our schedule and everything, you know, I work from eight to five. Um, I try and get my study done, my studying done in the morning and during my lunch and whenever I can. But Macy doesn't go down for bed until like 8 30 or 9 and at that point like I need to go to bed because I have to wake up at like 5 in the morning so um I don't really have a ton of free time and sometimes I don't go to bed right when Macy does because I'm filming videos or whatever and that's important to me so I want to continue doing it but um it's definitely hard and I I do not recommend having a child and trying to do this it is hard you like you can't spend the amount of time that you're supposed to on this stuff if you have a family because you you need to spend time with your family so um that is kind of that as for Becker I really like Becker and I know a lot of people have their opinions about Becker being too pricey or whatever that's completely fine you're you're you are free to have your own opinion but for me I I really enjoy Becker because the two guys who teach or like do the lectures they're funny they like make the material relatable and I feel like they're doing a good job of teaching um, the problems all seem like good problems they seem challenging which is good because I would rather learn from cha challenging problems than to get on the test and be like this is way harder than what we did in my review class so the material is hard um, there's a lot to get through, but in general, I like Becker. I, I, def I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a CPA review. Of course, the price is definitely a huge thing, but I, I think it's worth it. I mean, I, I guess I have, I have never used anything else, but I really enjoy it. And the setup is good for the way that I learn because I first need to, I first need to like learn it and then I need to somewhat practice it with a little bit of help and that's kind of where it's nice with the skill pra the skills practice because they kind of go through like a little review and then they give you this problem and the problem is usually kind of daunting because you're like okay I just learned all of this I should be able to do it and of course it's way harder than the examples that they gave you which is again good because you want that um, but if you don't understand it, they have like a little walkthrough video. So they'll walk you through it and that usually prepares me for the multiple choice questions. So um, that's kind of Becker. I have to say one thing that like always stresses me out every week when I'm doing my chapters is the simulations because for me, my brain, I just don't think that it works that way. Um, but they've been getting easier. So when I first started doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like ridiculous. And now I go through it and I'm like, okay, this isn't so bad. I do catch myself doing this a lot where I will, if I'm doing multiple choice, I'll like, I'll read the question and I'm, I'm not completely sure, but I'm like, oh, I'll just, you know, click the button or whatever. And I shouldn't do that. I should, every time that I'm going through, I should try and like pretend like it's a test and same thing with simulations I will like check my work as I'm doing it and that's horrible to do because you like seriously need you seriously need to like pretend like it's a test and like put all your effort into it because if not you're like oh yeah that makes sense that answer makes sense but do, does it really make sense so I catch myself doing that a lot but anyway I feel like I've been just rambling for 10 minutes the CPA stuff is going well that's like basically what I wanted to say is that it's going well. I'm on chapter four today and tomorrow. Um, 
I think you'll probably watch this on Monday. So, um, so I will already be done, but on Saturday and Sunday I am reviewing. So hopefully at, on Monday I'm like, okay, I feel refreshed. I feel like I know a lot of it and I'll move on to chapter five. I'm, I think it's crazy that I am almost halfway. Like this time next week, I will be halfway done with FAR. And I don't know how I feel about that because honestly, I don't, I don't feel prepared yet for the test and obviously I'm not halfway done yet so that makes sense but um, it's going to be an interesting test and I do I want to make more videos about this stuff for you guys because I feel like sometimes it's helpful to know that other people are in your situation um, I definitely want to do like some more specific videos where I talk about specific things like motivation and stuff like that so if you're interested again let me know but I am planning on vlogging on the days that I have my test so that I can tell you guys like okay this is what I'm feeling going in this is what I'm feeling going out and then obviously you guys will know how I do um, I want to be like super open about that stuff because it's not helpful for helpful for you guys for me not to be if I'm not open, then you guys don't know what to expect. If I don't tell you that I'm struggling, then you guys will think that it's weird when you're struggling. Um, it's definitely hard. It's definitely hard. But again, I think it's going to be worth it when it's done. And now that I'm like almost halfway done, I'm thinking, okay, like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And with FAR, sometimes I'm just like, okay, I'm so over this. Like I'm so over journal entries. I'm so over this. And then I remember, the other three parts are like completely different they're not about the same material like it'll be nice when you're done with this part and then you'll get to move on to something else and then you'll get annoyed with that and then you'll move on to something else so um anyway that's my kind of little update i wanted to really quickly before i stop and go study i wanted to quickly mention something about like our setup mine and jason's setup with macy and all of that so i was a little nervous going into all of this because it's very different than my MBA because with my MBA, I would go in for class two nights a week and it would usually be like two to four hours depending on what's going on. And that would be about it. Like I didn't really take much other time away from Macy and Jason. And at that point I was working from like seven to like three. So I would get home before Macy would wake up from her nap and I was way, I was around what seemed like more at that point. And I was worried that when I started doing the CPA stuff that it would be a lot on Jason and that I wouldn't be around as much. And the way that it's been working is pretty nice because like I said, I'm waking up super early. So I am up way before Jason and Macy are. I mean, Jason and Macy probably sleep until like 8, 8.30 most days. And I'm already gone by like 5.30. So they have no idea that I'm gone. And then I work from eight to five, which the five o'clock thing, I get home around 5.30. That's a little bit late, but Macy wakes up from her nap around five. So there's only a small little piece that like I'm not there for. Um, and then I'm with them all night, which is perfect because we get to have dinner together. We get to go to the park together. Um, so it's, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be with the CPA stuff the only exception is Saturdays Saturdays are hard because there's things that we want to get done at the house or there's things that people invite us to do like Jason's parents wanted to go boating and it's just not possible to do everything you want during the summer anymore and I think Jason's doing great with it he we are like working on a little thing for our for our kitchen and I plan to show you guys that as well but um you know we wanted to do that today and I'm like you know I need you know I'm like my plan was to review let's see if your parents can watch Macy so that you can work on house stuff and of course like they had plans which is completely okay um and I'm like you know what I'll just study in the morning and I'll I'll study during her nap I'll study at night like I don't have to study all day I'm just reviewing it's not like I need to get through the material like reviewing is important but I have all weekend to do it and Jason was so sweet he's like your studying comes first so if that's okay with you then that's okay but if you need all day that you take all day so I'm like I don't know when he said that I'm like oh like you get it like it's good when someone understands because I feel like sometimes when you're not in it when 
you know, your spouse or your family doesn't understand how big of a commitment and how much work the CPA is, I think it's hard because you need them to support you in that. So I'm, I'm so grateful that Jason is so supportive. And I know partially it's because he just wants me to be done. And he knows if I don't study, then there's a possibility that I might have to retake it. So, um, yeah. So I'm just grateful that he is so supportive. And I feel like I've seriously rambled on for 15 minutes. But hopefully some of that was beneficial for you guys. Again, I think a lot of people um, just want to know how it's going and know all the little details that I might not mention normally so I hope that was useful and I hope that you guys enjoyed that so I'm gonna go in and study um, hopefully get some good reviewing in and I will update you guys soon again let me know if you're interested in some more like specific videos if there's something besides like staying motivated that you guys want to hear about let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to try and come up with something so anyway guys that is all I have and I will see you guys later bye guys